In this video, I'm going to show you how to start affiliate marketing with Amazon for beginners. Let's get started. Hello, YouTube. It's Austin, and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to learn different ways how you can find the success that you're looking for online. All right, so as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, I'm going to show you step by step how to get started with affiliate marketing with Amazon for beginners. All right, so if you are brand new to affiliate marketing, Amazon and Amazon Associates are the largest e retailer and the largest affiliate network in the world. Amazon Associates and Amazon.com go hand in hand so that you can make money as an affiliate marketer. Basically, what you'll do is you'll, and I'm, I'll show you step by step, what you'll do is you'll find different products and you'll basically, you'll create content uh, based around that product and you'll add your affiliate link. But I'm gonna show you step by step, so let's not hesitate any longer. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go over to Amazon.com. And again, Amazon is the largest e-retailer, e-commerce site in the world and what we're going to do and there's a few ways for you to do this you can actually uh, just search different products and different categories and departments or you can actually go and see what you have purchased recently and uh, start affiliate marketing that way there are a few different ways to approach it um, one thing that you'll need to be aware of is the commission rate uh, the commission rate is basically the amount of money that you'll get paid uh, for promoting a product or service uh, the commission rates actually range between four and ten percent if the customer buys the product or service that you're recommending the commission rate can be actually be a little bit lower than that if you um, if the customer buys something else so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the hamburger menu on the top left here and we're going to find a different product or service that that we want to promote uh, we're just going to click on uh, we'll say fire tv and then we're going to promote the fire stick now obviously there are thousands of products that you can promote with amazon but we're just going to use the the, the fire stick as an easy example so now that we have this our, our niche is going to be um, technology and we're going to promote the fire stick or fire products within that we need to go and create an, an account on amazon associates and to do that uh, basically what you would need to do is just google amazon associates Ooh, that's spelled wrong. Um, it's affiliate-program.amazon.com if you want to go there directly. And what you'll need to do, and it, it auto log me in, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to go in and create an account and just basically follow the steps, answer the questions. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to create an account with Amazon. What you'll need is you'll basically need your tax ID number or you'll need your social security number. Um, but I'm actually going to pull up what the account, what the, the webpage should look like if you are visiting for the first time. All right, so this is what the webpage looks like when you are a first time visitor to Amazon Associates. Basically, you're just going to click join now, answer the questions, um, go through, like I said, it takes about 15 or 20 minutes for you to answer all the questions. And then once you answer all the questions, you will be basically like conditionally accepted into the program. And what that means conditionally accepted is you have to make three qualified sales in six months in order to be fully accepted. Uh, three qualified sales means they have to click on your affiliate link and there's some other caveats in there. Make sure that you check that out to learn exactly what you need to do in order to get those, those sales. Uh, so now that you have signed in, signed up for Amazon Associates, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go over um, and find a product. So uh, here in this middle bar here, I'm just going to type in uh, we'll say fire stick. There are a couple of ways to get your affiliate link and you'll need that affiliate link in order to uh, start promoting products and having getting commissions because people will click on this affiliate link. Uh, they'll buy a product that could be this fire stick. Um, once they purchase it and it gets shipped out, you could quite potentially get paid a commission. Um, but there are a few ways to do it and this is actually pretty cool. Uh, the first way is with this little site stripe here. And with the site stripe, you can go directly on amazon.com and look up different products that you want to promote. Once you find a product, you can just click text here and you can get the shortened URL. This is the URL that you'll put in your, in your content, whether it's a YouTube video, a blog post, or a podcast. And this is what people are going to click on in order to purchase the product or service that you're recommending. Uh, you can either do that directly through here, which is probably the easiest and fastest way, or you can log in through Amazon Associates and you can go through and get the link here. In addition to getting a link, you can also get um, 
so there's the there's the full link. In addition to getting the link, you can also get images. Uh, Amazon is, has very strict rules about the types of images that you can and cannot use. So make sure that you are aware of those images. One of the issues that you can run into is a, a getting an image or getting getting an Amaz getting an image from Amazon that's not approved, and then you could actually uh, get penalized. You could you could actually lose your Amazon Associates account. All right. So once you've done that. The next step is to just start creating content. Believe it or not, it's, it's pretty easy. What I recommend is creating like 20 pieces of content. Uh, this is the type of content that you wanna create. You wanna do like an unboxing video. So if you were buying a, a Fire Stick, um, record yourself doing an un unboxing, do a product review. Um, you can talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of Amazon uh, Fire Stick. You can do how-to videos. So how to integrate maybe something like Kodi or third-party apps into into the fire stick uh, there's just a number of different ways that you can approach it but i recommend doing more than just a product review because everyone's doing a product review if you approach it in a different way like um how to how to install third-party apps in your to your fire stick people are looking for that type of information or until recently you could have done a video on how to watch youtube on your fire stick until recently there wasn't an app um, for, for the fire stick. But if you create this type of content, you create maybe 20, 30 or 40 pieces of content, you can start finding traction. You can start finding success. If you just do product reviews, um, there are millions of people that are already doing it. Many millions of people that have already, um, got traction and followers and subscribers and, and things of that nature. So you're going to find, you're going to have a little bit of a challenge there. What I recommend is is niching down so fire find out things people are searching for with regard to the fire stick and create that type of content go deep 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 below uh, product reviews go deep below um, unboxings because again everyone's doing unboxings um, just try and find find a, an, an angle that that people are searching for but not a lot of content is created and this goes for any niche because if you think about it the internet's been around a long time and people have realized that you can make money by creating content and so there are tons of pieces of content out there but just make sure that you you niche down um, you have to work a little bit harder create a lot more pieces of content gone are the days where you can find success with maybe five pieces of content and, and you can make a million dollars you're going to need to put in a lot of time energy and a little bit of frustration in order to find that success that you're looking for it's out there for you you can do it you just have to keep putting in putting in the work um, in addition one one last thought here is instead of just sending them directly to your affiliate link or your affiliate offer Send them to a landing page. What you want to do, and I and this is absolutely imperative for, for a beginner, start setting up your email marketing. Start collecting email addresses. And this is actually just one additional step that you're going to need to learn. So what you're going to do is you pick a niche, you create content, you get your affiliate link, but instead of putting your affiliate link in your content, you actually put a link to your landing page. And what happens when you get to a landing page, people are, you're going to uh, tell them to enter in their email address to get 101 facts that you didn't know about your Amazon Fire Stick. People are going to want that free piece of content or free piece of information. They're going to enter in their email address. And then on the next page, which will be a thank you page, that thank you page will take them directly to the Fire Stick or whatever product that you're promoting. The reason why you want to collect email addresses is there, there's a few different reasons. One, it's very difficult to get a customer to return back uh, multiple times. Two, it takes between five and 12 touch points before a a lead or a customer becomes a buyer. And so you want to make sure that you follow up with email marketing in order to get those five to 12 touch points so that they can they can become a buyer. Also, number three, email marketing converts higher than affiliate marketing. And it's just a small investment that you invest in email marketing and it will pay dividends. Ask any successful affiliate marketer and they will tell you the difference between affiliate marketers that are successful and not successful are the ones that do email marketing. So make sure that you check out the first link in the description to learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing. In addition, you'll get a free guide to email marketing so that you can start email marketing and start making money and scale your business. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in the next video.